How's it going my peeps? I'm back with another supercar video. Now, I'm gonna do something different in this one, something I haven't done before. And you can tell by the, the title what it is. It's a pack opening. And I want you guys, I want your feedback. I want you to let me know whether you want to see more of it or not. Um, basically, I'll go by the likes. So if this video gets like 50 or 60 likes, I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> but if it does get more than that, you know, if it does get a good amount of likes, which means you guys want to see more of it, then I will do, uh, or I will make card openings or pack openings a monthly thing. I've never really done pack openings because I've never really bought a, uh, a card pack in this game. I mean, I'm not going to go ahead and say I, I never, never bought one. That's why I'm saying I never really bought one because I kind of did and I kind of not because when the game came out, when it first came out, they put out an update and that update messed up some things for a lot of people, myself included. What it did is it took away my very first Super Air card, which was a Super Air Dolph Ziggler. The reason why you never saw it was because it took away my Super Air Dolph Ziggler card and also took away some of my leveling progress. I had leveled up my cards and then suddenly once they posted up the updates, my cards were like, their, their level was decreased. And this affected a lot of people. So to rectify that or to apologize for that, what they did is it is... You could contact them and they would send you uh, some credits to like apologize or to make up for it. So they sent me some credits back then, uh, not the credits you see right now, these credits, you know, I just bought. Um, and with the credits, I went ahead and bought like two packs. But, you know, that, that wasn't my money. That was them giving me credits. And from those card packs, I got an Ultra Rare Rob Van Dam and an Ultra Rare Roman Reigns. Those were my two first Ultra Rare cards. So, I thought, you know, for entertainment purposes, uh, usually I like to play this game, you know, for free, I guess. Even though I do buy some title matches to speed things up in the PCC or Road to Glory and sometimes some bouts in the Road to Glory. Not in the Ring, ring Domination, though. Um, but, yeah, I've never really, you know, purchased credits to go ahead and purchase some card packs. I always felt like I'd rather get my cards through, you know, exhibition, PCCs, and the events and all of that. But... We'll try it out, because it's something I've never done, and you guys might enjoy watching this. Uh, so if you do enjoy this, and if you want to see this become a monthly thing, as you can see for the title, I'm going to title this, like, October Pack Opening or something like that. If you guys give this video a bunch of likes, and, you know, I see that you guys are liking it a lot, then I'll go ahead, make this a monthly thing, and every single month, I'll do an episode where I'm opening uh, card packs. So, right now... I'm, I'm planning on purchasing two card packs here. They've got the Ultra Rare Divas pack on sale. It's only 10%, though, which is, you know, pretty, you know, it's not a big discount. But since it is on special, and since I'm lacking in the Divas cards, I'm going to go ahead and purchase one of these. And then with the remaining credits, what I want to do is I want to get the Superstar, uh, not this one, but this one, the Common to Epic Rarity, uh, where you get six cards. Just because it, it, it kind of feels like, you know, for those of you who've played card games before, or, or those of you who have, who have purchased cards before, it always feels good, you know, when you're opening up like, um, like for instance, Yu-Gi-Oh! used to play that a lot. I would buy, I don't know, what were they called? I think booster packs or something like that. You know, those packs of cards, you get like nine cards in a pack or something like that, and you never know what you're going to get, and you're guaranteed to have at least one rare in there. I would buy these and, you know, I'd be excited, you know, to see if I'm going to get something good. I remember my cousin one time, by the way, bought one of those from like a local store. Uh, it was like a local card store. It's not there anymore. It went out of business. The guy was crazy. So we bought a card pack from there and there's supposed to be nine cards in there, right? He opens up the pack and there's only eight cards. We didn't, we didn't lose a card. We didn't drop a card or anything like that. There was eight cards in there. And we knew the store owner. We were cool with the guy. Sometimes, uh, like this was when I was little, sometimes like we'd be short on money and he'd be like, uh, it doesn't matter, you know, pay, pay me back the next time. And, and we do so. So anyways, we go back to the store, to the guy, and we're like, hey, there, it's, it's missing a card. There's eight cards instead of nine. And the guy just flips out. Like, this isn't our fault. We, like I said, we didn't drop any cards or anything like that. He freaking, he grabs the, the pack of cards and he just slams it on, on the, the counter. He's like, this, this isn't supposed to happen. That's, you, you guys probably stole it, blah, blah, blah. And like I said, we were cool with the guy. At least I thought so. And he just starts yelling at us and all that. Like, what the, what the hell? This isn't our, like, 
it came like this, you know? So he goes ahead and starts checking our cards, because cause we had our deck of cards, and uh, my cousin had a couple bent cards, <laughs> and the guy took, you know, this opportunity to go ahead and uh, take a jab at my cousin. He was like, hey, and you have some bent cards too, or whatever. He's looking through his deck to see if, you know, he stole a card or something like that, or he hid the, the ninth card so he could give so he could give us another pack. So eventually he realizes that, you know, that we didn't have the other card. So he goes ahead and just throws another uh, pack of, or, or another booster pack at us, and he's like all pissed off. Oops, standby mode. Okay. So yeah, cool story, bro. I know. Just felt like going ahead and telling you guys that story. Um... Anyways, let's go ahead and open up a card pack. Now, since the Divas one is on sale for seven hours, so it's 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 gonna run out. The time's gonna run. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna spend seven hours in this video. But since this is a limited only, limited limited time only thing, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that one first. So ultra rare to epic. I'm hoping I get an epic, obviously, and I'm hoping I get a card that can go ahead and team up with my Nikki Bella card. So, let's go ahead and buy this. My first ever credit pack opening with my own credits. Not credits that I got off of whatever. So, let's go ahead and do this. We get... Uh, an Ultra Air Cameron. Kind of a crappy... Not kind of, it is a crappy car. <laughs> Alright, Ultra Air Cameron. I think she can team up with Nikki though. I think so. Or oh, actually, I don't know. Is, I don't know if Nikki's like a right blue triangle or a left blue triangle, so she might not even team up with Nikki. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna get the boost or not. Oh, okay, and we get an ultra rare enhancement. That's cool. I think that's like my first ultra rare enhancement. All right, so the first pack opening they didn't go too well for us. Uh, nothing against Cameron, but uh, she sucks in the game. Uh, she she didn't though. She in the, before she didn't use to suck. She was actually I think one of the better cards. Which was weird, like her and Naomi had like some high stats. I think, it, I don't know if it was Cameron too. I know Naomi had some really high stats and then like they nerfed her. Or actually they didn't they really nerf her, but they boosted up the stats of the other cards. Um, so, I'm not going to go ahead and buy another one of these. Now, we're going to move on to the other Superstar Pack. Common to Epic Rarity. There's six cards in there. But we're going from Common to Epic. So there's a possibility of me just getting Commons and uncommons and rares and just not getting an epic or anything like that i'm hoping i get at least one ultra rare the thing i'm hoping the most is getting an epic card oh hold on i was almost gonna buy the the wrong pack here actually hold on a second this one is common to epic you get one card right this one is yeah okay i was gonna say is this one cheaper but no this one you, you end up uh this one's actually cheaper so, let's go ahead and purchase this. Would you like to purchase a Superstar? Yes, I do. Let's just make sure I'm purchasing the right thing. Yep, okay, I am. So, we get Tyson Kid crap. We get crap. We get shit. We get... Uh, no, nah, this is still crap. We get crap. Oh, man, two cards left. We get... Ah, uh, damn it, a Super Rare. We've got one card left. I don't know why Roman Reigns keeps finding me, man. I keep getting Roman Reigns. And we get a rare speed. All right, that was absolute crap. So, didn't go out, didn't go too well for this one either. Now, we got 310 credits remaining. You know what? I don't like to have like an odd amount like that. So, I'm thinking about going ahead and purchasing three of these and uh, seeing what we get. You know what? I'll do it for the sake of your entertainment. So let's go ahead and purchase one. Comments epic. All right. All right. Let me go ahead and purchase another one. And we get crap. <laughs> okay. What? Please give me something good than the last one. Let's see. And we get ah. Uh, come on, they screwed me over on this one. They they really did. Really got some crap here. Absolute crap. That was a waste of money, <laughs> but you know you're taking a risk when you're buying these card packs. Um, so right now I want to see if Cameron can go ahead and team. Okay, I mean it's not even Monday yet, but yet I'm getting the. I mean I'm fine with that, but okay. So uh, let me see here. No, okay, no, she can't team up with Nikki. I mean she can, but we're not gonna get the boost though. Um, hold on a second here. Is 
I want to see if Cameron, in it, while not leveled up, now I was going to say I wanted to see if Cameron, while she's not leveled up, was better than Nikki or not, but she isn't. Um, so I don't know if I should replace Nikki. I don't think I'm going to replace Nikki here. And I don't think I'm going to replace... Actually, I might replace Brie. I'm going to go ahead and replace Brie here. Might as well take advantage of the card that I got, even though not the best of cards. Should I go ahead and... No, I'm not going to level her up. I'm going to level up Nikki first, because she's level 12, and she's almost at level 15. Uh, all right, right now we're actually close to being in, on the Ultra Rare Plus tier. Should I go ahead and... Hold on a second. Let me train... Well, actually, no, no. I'm not going to train Nikki right now here. Because right now, I want to focus on the Ring Domination, which... We've got 55 minutes left until it's over. I didn't unlock anything because I didn't play the Ring Domination. I didn't have too much time to play the Ring Domination this time around. So, yeah, I played, like, I think three matches total, and that was it. Not even a full, you know, five bouts thing. So, with that set up, let's auto-fill it. All right, it's, it's already all auto-filled. And let's go ahead and play a game here against the guy with the Rick Rude picture. And what is it going to be? Okay, Deagle versus Declan, Declan, I don't know. All right, we're going to start it off with Goldust. He's, no, he's not the weakest card. We're going to start it off with The Rock. And I'm going to put him, since I've got like three upwards yellow triangles, I'm going to go ahead and put him... No, you know what? I'm going to put him right here, actually. So I can take him back with Rick Rude. And I can, okay, so definitely going to take him back with Rick Rude. If he hadn't put an upwards yellow triangle there under the rock, then I would have used, like, Goldust to take him back. So he takes him back with Roman Reigns, and there he goes. Now, his Roman Reigns is maxed out, and it might even be pro I'm not sure. I didn't, you know, I didn't see that. Uh, but he's definitely, you know, has he definitely has higher stats than mine. So, we're going to take back the Rock here. Now, I'm expecting him to go ahead and take my Rick Rude card, so... I might have to use Triple H afterwards. Let's see. Okay, no, so he doesn't take my Rick Rude card right now. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take his Dean Ambrose card. Um, but I'm trying to think here. Should I take his Dean Ambrose card with an upwards yellow triangle or should i take it with well actually yeah that's my only choice for me to take him with an upwards yellow triangle the question is do i do it with one of my weaker cards or one of my stronger cards you know what i'm gonna do it with one of my stronger cards and not not the strongest but one of my strongest we're gonna go with roman reigns here to take the lunatic fringe dean ambrose and what is this a speed match doesn't matter we take it there we go yo was that a spear I, I didn't even pay attention to the move. Okay. Uh, I think it's a spear, because somebody, you know, a bunch of you mentioned that epics and legendaries actually do their moves. I think it was a spear. It was too quick for me. So, we're gonna go with... I can go with anything, really, but... I kinda wanna... Hmm. You know what? I think... Hmm. No, I was gonna say I was... I wanted to try and get a 9. 9 and 0. But it's impossible in this situation because if I go ahead and take Jack Swagger here, if he puts a card here, I'm not going to be able to take that card because I have my Roman Reigns here already. So it's, it's just impossible. So I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm gonna take his Roman Reigns card just because. And there we go. Triple H goes ahead and goes up top. What a splash. Something Triple H would never do. And he goes ahead and puts Saffron there. So I'm going to also put Saffron's there. Except my Saffron's card looks better than his Saffron's card. One, two, and three. Deagle wins the match. Seven and two. Let's try for eight and one. And let's try also for nine and oh. Nine and oh preferably. But, you know, once again, the, to get nine and oh, luck has a lot to do with it. You know, in terms of the cards you get matched up with. Okay. There we go. Now, let's play another bout against a guy with a Roman Reigns picture. What's his username? I missed his username. They didn't see it. What is it? Deagle versus Simone. I, I, I prefer calling him Simone, even though that's probably not how you say it. Simone. Okay, 
We're going to start it off with HBK because he's the weakest card. And I've got two upwards L triangles, two uh, left blue triangles, and one right blue triangle. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put him right here. And we'll see what the opponent does. Okay, so somebody else with a Roman Reigns card. I've run into a lot of people with the epic Roman Reigns card since the PCC. Seems like a lot of people landed in that range. Um, okay. Um, let's go ahead with Seth Rollins here. And we're going to take Shawn Michaels. There we go. And what's he going to do? He's going to go ahead and try and take my Seth Rollins card. There we go. With the miss. Now, I could go ahead and take back my Seth Rollins, or I could go ahead and take back The Miz. I'm going to go ahead and take back... Uh, I'm not sure. Who should I go with here? Seth or... Wait a minute. I didn't even know I had, like, an Ultra Rare Seth... Yo, is that Ultra Rare Seth Rollins mine? I think that was mine, right? I, I don't remember when I got that Ultra Rare Seth Rollins card. All right, let me go ahead and put... I don't know where I should put him. I mean, I could go with this or with this. Either one would work. I could even go like this and take his Roman Reigns card. Uh, but honestly, taking Seth Rollins and The Miz would be the better decision because he can't take him back. So, I'm uh, going to go ahead and gonna put him right here, yeah. So that way, I don't go ahead and accidentally face off against Roman Reigns later on. Even though, you know, you'd have to be pretty stupid to do that. Okay. So what's he going to do right now? I don't think he's going to go ahead and try and take my Triple H. All right, he doesn't. Now, I can't take his Ric Flair card. So what I'm going to do... Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put, I think... No, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to... No, hold on. Um. Yeah, I'm going to put the rock right here. And he puts Dean Ambrose... I can take his Dean Ambrose card with Rick Rude. Ravishing Rick Rude. We got this one. What is this? 7 and 2? I think it's another 7 and 2 match. Let's see. Uh, one, well, let, let, let's just let it calculate on itself. No need for me to count. No, it's actually 6. Uh, 6 and 3. So, not as good as I expected. Let's see what we do in the next match. I'm still aiming for that 9 and 0, guys, but we haven't gotten it yet. I've gotten 8 and 1s. But never gotten a 9 and 0. Some of you have though. Uh, and uh, those of you who have, I've retweeted your pictures. Oh, I just got a part of the card. I didn't notice that first. Uh, running what is running something. His finisher. Uh, running Senton, I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh let's face Oh, reach the card limit. Okay. Let me go ahead and level up some of my cards here. Let me level up Roman Reigns. You can believe that. Um, because I'm running into all these Roman Reigns that are already leveled up or maxed out, while mine is not maxed out. So, let me change that, or get closer to changing that, because I'm not going to max him out with the cards I've got right now. I don't have enough cards. So, level 14, and hold on. Let me train him with some uncommon cards. Stonkel Steve Austin, Cena, Seth Rollins... Sasha Banks, Sardos, Natalia, Samoa Joe, The Miz, R-Truth, 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 Adam Rose, who we haven't seen in a while, Alicia Fox, Diego, who also we haven't seen in a while since their heel, their heel turn, and there we go, level 16. Actually, let me use some rares. Uh, I barely use rares to level up cards, just because I usually forget, usually just focus on the commons, and see, we got a bunch of pages also of rares. Um, so let me go ahead, hit the Otami, Big E, Ryback, uh, before I was thinking about keeping the Big E card, but now I don't really care, let's go to the previous page, yo, what's going on, man, I already said, come on, I said rare, uh, for some reason it's like buggy, alright, we're, we're experiencing some sort of bug right now, because, look at this, what's going on here, I can't even... I don't know what to do. Actually, hold on. Let me back out. Okay, there we go. We had to back out completely for this to go away. So we're back now. Let's go ahead and go back to the next setup. And hopefully this time we don't get that same bug or that same glitch. Oh, why did I go ahead? Okay. 
Let's go with, we'll start with John Cena and Batista Batista, King Barrett, Goldust, Neville Neville, Naomi, and Ryback, Big E, Hideo Tommy. Yes, level 19. All right, so we're almost maxed out. I'll keep it at that. And let's play another match, searching for opponent and also waiting on, I'm waiting on network. They're, they're, the searching for opponent is waiting on the waiting on network thing. Man, we're facing off against Cesaro. Okay. Come on, loading screen. Let's go. So, so far, we haven't lost a match. We've, you know, we've got to clean the record. Haven't lost a match in ring domination. Let's keep on going here. Hopefully, I didn't jinx myself by saying that. Like I said, I have no clue where I got... Oh, I'm such a dumbass. I was going to say I have no clue where I got this Seth Rollins card right here. But I got this thing from the ring domination mode. <laughs> and not, not the ring domination mode, I mean the PCC last time when I got Roman Reigns, it was along with Roman Reigns. So we're going to put HBK right, I don't know, here, 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 here. Um, We're going to put him right here, because I can take him back with the rock. Okay, so he puts Goldust in there. He's got. He's also got a Goldust card that isn't leveled up, just like me. Alright. Now, let me take back HBK. Now, just in case HBK gets some sort of boost, I'm going to go ahead and use a boost of my own here. And going to use the rock. Hopefully, HBK does not get a boost. Oh, shit. Gets boost. <laughs> Come on. Uh, thankfully, uh, the boost did not do anything for him, I'm guessing, because the match type didn't involve those stats. Okay, what's it going to be now? I'm going to go ahead and take his Goldust card. With Roman Reigns, because he can't take it back. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to take that card. Looks like he got a Sting card probably from... Oh, okay, so he uses Stone Cold Steve Austin right there. Um, I can't take Austin, can't take Sting. Pretty much can't take anybody on the left of me. So I'm left just playing on defense right now. So we're going to put Seth Rollins here. And... Um, Whatever he does, we win the match. You know, we don't win the match by, you know, a large amount or anything like that. But we win. One, two, three. And there we go. Another match won, but we still haven't gone 9 0. Um, okay, so. What do we get? Jack Swagger. Uh, Big Show, two Divas. And Fernando and Natalia. Let's play another match and get to the million dollar man because everybody's got a price. My price was 990 credits plus 500 credits to get complete shit. But if you guys did enjoy the pack openings and you do think that maybe we will get better cards in the future, go ahead, click that like button, and we'll see if I'll, you know, make this a monthly thing. HBK, gonna put him right, I don't know. Actually, no, I'm not gonna put HBK, I'm gonna put Mr. Perfect. Um, where should I put him, guys? Should I put him right here? I'm gonna put him right here. Let's see what he does. And he goes ahead and uses Roman Reigns. Another Roman Reigns card. Come on already, alright. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take back... Mr. Perfect with the future, Seth Rollins, and let's go, come on, there we go, now he's gonna go ahead and try and take my Seth Rollins card, you, you just watch, yep, he takes him with Randy Bjorn, and it's a speed match, let's go, let's go, okay, good for you, now I'm gonna go ahead and use Roman Reigns right here, I'm thinking about, no, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that, I'm going to go ahead and take, should I take his Randy card? I'm not sure. Or should I take back my Seth Rollins card? Um, I'm going to take his Randy card. All right. There we go. Yeah, it's a spear. So I saw it this time. It's definitely a spear. That's cool. Um, what's he going to do? Okay, so he puts right back there. That's actually, I didn't want him to put a superstar uh, right above me. Okay, you know what? I'll go with Goldust right here, and we'll see what he does. Okay, so he takes my Goldust card, and that's fine. I'm going to take his Kane card in the next round. Oh, so it actually doesn't take my Goldust card. That's, that's even better.
Let's just put Rick Rude in, and we've won this match. Uh, six to three once again. Another win, but another mediocre performance. We've got, I think, one bout left, or actually, might, maybe two. I think it's two left. So we've still got time to get that nine on nine and zero, but chances of it happening aren't that likely. Let's get. Come on, show me a part of the card again. Come on. We still don't get a part of the card. Okay, so we've got one bout left, but once we're done with this, we're going to get the other bout, so we're going to play that too. Now, let's see which cards I get with this setup, or, you know, in this match. Facing off against Nico, and we're going to go ahead and put Mr. Perfect up first, and we're going to put him right here. Best position for me to put him in. Um, okay. He takes him with Sting, that's fine. Um, let me go ahead and take him back. I'm going to take him back with Roman Reigns. Um, let me put Roman Reigns here. And the cards that I've got right now aren't the best. In this setup especially. Because the only good card I've got left right here is Triple H. The other cards, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take some... Okay, so I can take his Rick... No, I can't even take his Sting card, the other Sting card. Not the crow sting. I can't even take the other one because my cards are all left blue triangles and then upwards. Well, actually, no. I take that back. I could take him with Triple H. Uh, but do I want to do that? Or do I want to go ahead and take the other uh, sting card? You know what? I would prefer, I think, to go ahead and take this sting card. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to take this thing right here. And uh, we'll see what he does. We'll see if he takes back... I'm going to see if he takes back his stink card or not, or if he does something else. Alright, so he goes ahead and takes him right back. That sucks, but we'll see what he does. We'll see... Well, actually, it's my turn right now, so he'll see what I do. You're going to put the rock... Um, and I've really got to think about this now, because if I put... Hmm, now, I've only got some... Left blue triangles left here. Okay, so I'm gonna put a recruit here, and I'm gonna save my best card. I'm gonna put him right here. Um, we'll see if it's a good move or not. Okay, so he puts his Dolph card right here. I'm actually happy that he did that. So now when I put the Ron card right here, I don't have to go ahead and face off against his Dolph card, and we still win the match. Five and four though, so even worse than the previous matches. We got one more match left before the video is over. Let's go ahead. Three picks left. We don't. I'm not. I, I'm thinking we're not gonna get anything. I mean, if, honestly, at this point, it doesn't really matter for getting anything because I'm not aiming to get the cards because I know there's like how many top 40 minutes left. I'm not gonna go ahead and get you know the 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 rare card and super rare and all that. I'm not gonna get any of that. Just playing the ring domination just to play the ring domination out of all the modes. In, you know, Supercard, I enjoy the Ring Domination the most, uh, simply because it's different than the other modes. And it, to me, it's more fun, it's more str Yo, his pick kind of looks weird. Uh, like, well, actually, it's not his pick, his username. He, like, put, a, he put in some, like, um, yellow, not yellow, sorry, white squares in there. Okay, I'm gonna put Mr. Perfect right here, actually. And we'll see what he does. Okay, he takes him back with Sting. That is fine with me. And I actually beat his Sting card. That's cool. Now, I'm going to go ahead and block him from getting Mr. Perfect. And we'll see what he does. Okay, so he takes Sting. Ah, oh, damn. I was hoping for a 9-0 situation, but... I can see that it's already going to be impossible because I only got one upwards yellow triangle, so I can only take one of these two cards. So, since I can only take one of these two cards, I'm going to go ahead and take The Undertaker, just because he's the stronger one, and I feel like taking the stronger one, because I feel like taking the stronger one. There's no real reason. Um, it, honestly, it's the same thing at the end, whether I took Sting and The Undertaker. And what does he do? He puts Brock Lesnar in there. Alright, it's... I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm going to put Rick Rude, um, actually, you know what, I'm going to put Rick Rude here. I'm setting him up 
because I'm hope. Yep, he fell for the baits. Like I was saying, I was setting him up so he t puts a card right next to Rick Rude and tries to take my Rick Rude, and then I could take his card with my Seth Rollins card because I felt like doing that. So I'm gonna take his Seth Rollins card with my Seth Rollins card, and um, there we go. We win the match. Um, it's a I think it's a seven and two match. Is it? Um, no, it's not actually seven and two. It's six and three. So whatever, we won the match undefeated. Scores doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how you win. Just matters that you won. But I do wish I did get a nine and zero. Okay, we get a bunch of random cards. We get Kofi. Don't touch me, dog. He said that on last night's event for Madison Square Garden. There was some dude in the crowd that touched him, and he was like, "Don't touch me, dog." All right. So we played all the bouts, right? Yeah, we did. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and check out the Delhi retard of the global chats. Let's see what the retards are up to today. Uh, come on. Hey, I, I missed the other guy. Okay, who's Joanna? Let's go take her. Brock's got no chance. Dudley boys. Hey, Elias. Rocks. Uh, hey, just pulled Super Air Rudy. Ra Rudy Rody Piper. <laughs> okay, Rudy Rody. Uh, let's go Saints. Um, and what is this? Looks like, you know, some eye drops or something. Probably not. Safrolins, New Day. Who needs a boyfriend and is a girl and wants me to be theirs? Yeah. I don't know what's up with these people, you know? And we saw this on the last episode, too. Is this the same guy looking for a girlfriend in this game? Roman Reigns is amazing. Should be champ. New Day sucks. What's up? Hey, kids. Roman... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see the comment by Kush Cloud. Um, okay, Hawkeye sucks. Uh, Kyrie, my what? Why is he? Okay, cool. It's not even his middle name. It's his middle name. Shawn Michaels, shut up, up, ha, something. Break them tables. Let's go up top now, cause we can't go in the bottom. And this chat's moving pretty quickly. Like people are just po posting up pointless shit. Ilias must be one ugly dude. Uh, I mean, he might be, but you know what does it matter? Braun Strowman versus the Undertaker. That kind of be like the Undertaker versus the Great Khali. Uh, who wants Dean Ambrose to be champ? I mean, I'd like that. TNA's garbage. I'm New Divas champion. Seth Rollins suck. Congrats, Paris. Paris who? Like the the chick Paris or like I don't know. What are you what are you talking about? Um. When will Shield reunite these nuts? Ha! Got them. They are actually thinking, but reuniting. Yeah, okay. Enough, you know, enough of this shit. But, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more pack openings, make sure to click that like button. And, uh, if there's a good amount of likes, go ahead and do that, or do it as a monthly thing. So... I'm out? Yeah, I'm out. See ya.